This guy's always late, man. Are you there, buddy? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, my camera's kind of off. That's weird. It's all good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Just sitting here, just drinking my tea. I actually um, had a question for you. What kind of question? Have you ever worn a kimono? Kimono, like those traditional wearing in Japan? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, I never worn them, but I did wear a yukata. Because I was thinking of starting a new series, actually. One where we would be exploring, you know, the Japanese community in Montreal. And I was thinking we start with kimono. Okay, sounds good to me. Let me just yeah. get my camera. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, Tim! <laughs> My name is Yuki. I'm the owner of the Kimono Yuki. I'm doing a kimono related business in Montreal. Mainly, the, we do the kimono photo shooting and kimono lesson. The how to wear the kimono because it's a little bit complicated to wear, especially during the summertime for the Japanese cultural event. I'm selling the, not the kimono, but more summer kimono. We call it yukata, the kimono jacket. It's easy to wear it. Men don't wear kimono. Mm. <laughs> right. they, they wear. They do? They wear, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's a kimono, it's the shape, is every kimono is almost the same shape, even for women and men, slight difference. And yukata is the same shape too, but the different material. In Japan, the summer is very humid and hot, so it's made of cotton. Nice. You feel not too hot. For kimono, it's a, it's a variety. It's, it's a, we have a silk, we have a polyester, synthetic, and sometimes like wool. So you, you don't really like run a shop. You organize like different activities around like the kimono. Yeah, that we don't have a shop. Uh, we have a little studio. It's like a kind of the one room of the apartment. We do the photo shooting for kids, especially for the Japanese families. We sell the light at the three years and seven years for girls and five years for boys. Why did you choose to do sort of like this business endeavor in Montreal? So when I was in Japan, I was not that much interested in kimono. And when I came here, probably yeah, since I got my kids, Kids. Yeah. I have a three boys, but I wanted them to wear kimono. I see. So, you know, and I used to wear myself too. At that moment, I started to wear the kimono like a daily basis in Montreal. So okay. I was like, oh, well, I want to make them, you know, to wear for the special day. We called it Ichigo san, the five Ichigo san for Ichigo-san. the kids' day. Has there ever been like a, an interesting reaction wearing the kimono from a foreigner uh, or somebody yeah. living in Montreal? So they, they think as the when they see the kimono pictures, they think just the kimono, the big, this fabric yeah. and the big belt, this obi, just two piece, but it's not, you know, you need those kind of little accessories, the obi oh, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. I have a, like a little white one, obijime and the other, you know, underwear. There is a lot of accessories hidden inside of There's my belt. Layers, yeah. Right? So I was like, oh, that much, you know, I need this, 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 this much. Like, when I make them wear, it's kind of wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. So I was like, oh, more and more. Oh, it's tight. Is it like I heavy? Do or, like, do you feel like there's a lot of stuff, right? Obviously. Yeah, I just feel I just feel the pressure of the ropes. Yeah, like the corset. For the yeah. summer festival, when I was like selling the kimonos, men's are choosing a women's one, and the women's choose a men's one, and and they put it on the shoulder and they see the mirror, and when I see them, it's oh. Yeah, it's good. It works. So. <laughs> you don't tell them it's not the right. <laughs> no, I, I told them okay, I, okay. it's originally for women or for men. Yeah, but yeah. You can wear like this. It's like a long jacket. Men's one you can wear just like a bathrobe. Yeah. So you need a length for your, not the height, from the neck to the bottom, it's enough. So it's shorter than women. Women's one should be longer, it should be touch on the floor, and you're gonna bling up when you wear it. So okay. women's one, even me, I'm short, I'm five feet, but I need a length, the kimono length should be 150. For the guys, the length, like even six feet guy can wear it, you know, like a long jacket. Do they also do that in Japan, like wear the kimonos as, as jackets? In Japan, it's not that much. Okay. Some people do it, but not that often. Yeah, you don't need to wear like perfectly, like a proper way, you know, like a traditional way. Mm-hmm. I want them to introduce you can, yeah, you can wear like a jacket as like a normal daily wear. Thank you so much. I think that's all for that's the questions, all? right? You Do have not, no information for I mean, the kimono. I mean, I have a yukata at home oh. that I bought in Japan, but I, <laughs> I don't know how to wear it, right? I don't know oh, how to like, no. tie it myself. Like, I, okay, I but really men's don't. one is more simple than well, women's even, one. Well, even still, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> even women's, yeah, yukata is more simple. Okay. So usually, yeah, you need a little bit practice, but 20 minutes practice, it's enough.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like what we did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And see you guys in the next one.